Well, finally get back with the family. What are we doing, Heidi? We are going to Big W and exciting things. We've got to um, clean the car. All right, and then we've got to go to the shops because this car is disgusting. And uh... <laughs> <laughs> today we're giving Yanni his mower. What? We're going to take the mower to your school, aren't we? Yeah, I can't wait. All right, needed a new pair of sunglasses because I'd lost them. My other ones and they are damaged anyway. So I went to Saltbush Surf here at Port Augusta. A little bit less uh, Larry than the last lot, hey? So what are we doing now? Um, we're in Port Augusta and we are going to Big W. Oh, why do you want to go to Big W? I bet I like to get surprises from telephones. <laughs> <laughs> and I like Lego, Fred. Okay. Do you want Lego or something else? Actually, I want to. Oh, I don't want to choose Lego. You don't want, you want to choose Lego? I want, what to, else? Buy, I want to buy a Fisher Price telephone. Fisher Price telephone? <laughs> Here it is. Oh, <laughs> you want one of them, do you? Down there? Okay, you could have oh, one of them. Wow, that's from Fisher Price. The tech. Oh, Good wow. Yep, yeah. what other telephones? Um, Unidad? Oh no! Where's the AT&T and Panasonic? Um, I don't know. I'm going to get this because I, I want this telephone in my house. So we put this one back? Yes. I'll do it. Okay. Alright, you happy now? Yes, I got this real telephone. Look, play away with that one. Ah, uh, no. Can Good girl. Happy with that one, Heidi? Yes. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very much for this great new um, present for our school. It's, um, it's going to do a really good job on our new lawn here. Yeah. Thank you very much, Matthew. No I really worries. appreciate everything that you've organised. Easy done. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. And this is the area that I'm going to be looking after. Excellent. Which is Kaikuya. And uh, and then we've got a we've got another project uh, we're doing uh, with you, aren't we? We're, I'm, I'm installing a new lawn for you. Yep. Out the back, and then ultimately the oval, probably next year. That sounds really yeah. good. All yes. right. My daughter loves that playground. So this is the area that we're going to do. Yep. Uh, probably around about September. Wonderful. Yep. So I'm going to be installing irrigation in this bit. I I reckon this is probably about 300 meters squared thereabouts. And this is going to be lovely lawn. Mm. It's yes. going to look it's going to look fantastic. And I'm glad I'm here during the I mean this is winter and it's still getting quite a lot of sun uh, even with the even with the buildings. So uh, no, this is going to be cracker. Well, day 1 of the school project and I tell you what, um, I'm really looking forward to getting into this. However, it is a fair bit of work, so let me introduce you to the area that I am now going to start looking after and let's talk a little bit about that. Now, the area that I've got here is about 350-400 square meters of kaikuya that's been oversowed with rye. We also have quite a weed problem in here. We've got lots of clover. Uh, we found a little bit of bindi before, we ripped that out, but um, there is bits and pieces of it everywhere. Uh, so we've got lots to do. So any grass area that you have should be basically treated the same with care. And I'm talking about the mowing aspect of it. We're gonna be starting from the edges and what we'll be using is the Adam Edger. Edge all the areas first, then uh, whipper snip the areas and we've got the Bush Ranger whipper snipper to do that, the L2600. Also, we're gonna be using the Bush Ranger. I've also got to think about uh, what the school needs and, uh, and how this oval's used. So I'll be approaching things a little bit differently in regards to the way that I care for it. So I'm going to have to make some compromises because, you know, the, the, the school students, this is their only grassed area, which is out the front. I need to be mindful of that, especially with renovations and, uh, and what use uh, they're going to have. So look, today um, I'm just going to be doing a, a, 
a clear up I'll be getting to the edges which are a little bit out of control and I'll be getting to uh, doing the outside of the edges with the whipper snipper after using the edger so really really neaten that up and then just doing a mow now the weeds and everything I will start treating as of next week um, I won't be mowing super low um, that will come uh, down the track and again that's another thing about the the students uh, needing an area to you know do their runs and everything the area is really um, really rutted and uh, all over the place with the leveling um, it hasn't been done for for a number of years um, there's also quite a bit of thatch underneath a lot of the um, a lot of the kaikia which is producing a fair bit of sponge not ideal for running on so you know this will be a you know around September we'll do a renovation when there's a when there's a school holidays and perhaps make some compromises in regards to um, how much of the oval that we do so we might do one part so at least they've got some other part to use uh, while that's repairing and then in another section of the school holidays we'll do another part so we've really got our work cut out for us here eventually what I want to do with this area is I want to be able to get it nice and, and level and uh, and start striping it up uh, with the cylinder mower. Anyway, um, I better stop yabbering and, and better start working because I've got a I've got a Facebook video that I've got to do in a few hours. I want to neaten up this a little bit. So you get the idea um, down here as well. All the way along, we could really neaten that up. As you can see, love to neaten that up. I haven't got an edge here, so they're just obviously using Roundup or glyphosate to make that edge. However, we do have some issues with uh, Kaikuya Creek going into the garden bed. A lot of weeds coming up. Uh, we'll have to get into that, but that'll be another day. It hasn't been done like forever. Um, and um, this part here, I uh, went down to a, a number four and that's very, very thick Kaikuya there. I just neaten those edges up with the whipper snipper. But yeah, uh, I'll get into mowing now. Noah is doing a beautiful job. This is the bit I haven't done yet. And this is the bit I have done. It's neatening it right up anyway. She's quite lumpy and bumpy and we've got it on number four and she's coming up a treat. Having a little bit of a survey of this area. And it's in the shade of this tree here all the time. It's receiving the same amount of water but it's 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 brown and dead looking. Like that. We've got some spots. It's not looking very healthy. It's it's quite brown. There's plenty of water here, and the ground feels very very wet. And I think that's where lies the problem. That is just not normal growth. The kaikuya. So we've got a bit of a fungal issue here. So we'll have to treat that one next week as well. Okay, so a quick review of the Bush Ranger mower, which is the 140R that I gave to the school. I'll put links down in the description. I think it's like $739 or $759 or something. It absolutely blasted through this. Pretty rough, uh, very, very unlevel. I mowed it a number four and she just sucked it right up excellent mower i did say that uh, you know it's a uh, it's a good commercial mower probably for you know the kid with a thousand bucks uh starting up a bit of a lawn business needs a mower needs a whipper snipper this is the mower to get and if you've got you know your big hard kaikuya backyard that you want to look after or you know any grass that matter i mean this one was a real real tough task as you can see, it's gonna handle it. And uh, yeah, did it with aplomb, did it with ease. This mower has done fantastically. This is the first mower I had of the school. I'm very impressed. Um, it's come together really well. This is just looking absolutely beautiful. So in regards to the watering, I've had a look at the watering system 
and they've got it on for an hour every night at 2 a.m. Uh, <laughs> it certainly doesn't need that much water. That's why I've got a bit of uh, fungus that I'm going to have to deal with, uh, which is shaded by the tree. That area is used quite a bit too, I'd imagine, and uh, that's why it's become compacted. The water's just sitting there all night, every night. So I've reduced the watering on the system to take care of that one. Yeah, it's definitely fungal. Uh, I reckon uh, a product like Patriot should be able to get rid of that. So I'll investigate that a bit further. Really what's going to do the trick is, is regular mowing uh, and um, making sure that area is just not waterlogged. Simple as that. Reduce the watering improve the aeration of the, of the soil underneath uh, might need to attack it with a bit of a bit of an aerate um, which is coming up in about six weeks anyway once uh, once growing season starts uh, but yeah i want to probably just do as much as i can to that area there'll be more vids on that in the future i reckon really enjoying uh, this uh, the results as you can see are uh, just uh, amazing already uh, lots of work to do all right Get your lawn on.